right, welcome to my 2018 Topps Heritage Group Break. Uh, I will be busting these boxes very shortly. We have three of them. I also have a couple of random packs that I'm just going to throw in for some fun uh, while I wait for some people to possibly join us in the room. I need to get this posted up on my blog. So let me quickly write a post there, and I have to throw it up on Twitter. So we will be getting going in just a second. All righty. First one done. And now let me get up on Twitter real quick. Since some people join from there. So I said I would start around 7.30, so it's a little bit, just just a little bit early yet. So I'll wait a few more minutes. Um, you know, some people will probably want to filter in, see what's happening. Let me check the sound, make sure everything is working here. All right, that looks looks good. So I'm trying a new, um, I don't know, feature, I guess you might say. Uh, I'm using my cell phone, which I've hooked up to my laptop, and I've put my boxes in my light box that I bought not all that long ago for taking better photographs, actually more for my Lego blog than my baseball card blog, but um, I thought maybe that will work. So I'm going to give it a shot tonight and see if I can kind of bust the packs here and hopefully that will work out for everybody. So uh, I'm just going to, I have three bonus packs that I'm going to mm. throw in just for extra cards. Think of them as packing material, if nothing else. Um, but that'll sort of buy me just a couple minutes while people, uh, since I said 7.30 and that's still nine minutes away, my time. Um, that'll give some people a chance to, to jump in and join the fun if they want to. Um, so I have, again, there's nothing special here. I'm not trying to claim that it is, but free cards are free cards, right? So uh, we're going to bust just a couple of packs of, uh, I don't know, just some old stuff here. And then we'll get going with the actual Heritage group break. So we're going to start off with this pack of Series 2 Dunruss. Now, I actually don't know what year this one is. Um... 1991 is what year it is, I can tell from the design. So we'll give this a go. Like I said, we'll get to the real card shortly. Um, all of these are going in the group break though. So uh, we've got a pieces 13, 14, and 15 of the Willie Stargell puzzle. So obviously pirates there. And then we have Jim Eisenreich for the Royals, mm -hmm. Wally Joyner for the Angels, Derek Lilliquist for the Padres, Danny Tartable, Royals, Chuck Finley Angels, Jim Vachner for Vacher, sorry, for the Braves, Steve Balboni for the Yankees, Jose Gonzalez for the Dodgers. We have a N well, it says NL batting champ. Willie McGee for the Athletics. That should definitely be an AL batting champ. So I don't know. I don't know enough about the 91 Dunner said if that's a error card that is a correct or has a corrected version or, or mm -hmm. what. Um, but that's that's definitely incorrect. Uh, John Smiley for the Pirates. Steve Decker rated rookie. I always like that logo for some reason. I mean it's 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 stupidly simple, but I always liked it. Sean Abner for the Padres. 
Howard Johnson, Hojo for the Mets. That's another nice one. Award winner. David Justice card. Uh, Rookie of the Year, National League for the Braves. And Jack Dotterty for the Texas Rangers. So that's our first pack. Uh, I'm just opening a couple random packs while I wait till 7.30 gets here. So I see a couple people come in and out. So if you're watching, we will get to the Heritage cards in just a second. Um, but I had a couple of thingamas, filler cards, bonus cards, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is 1989 Tops. Um, I don't know. I thought that those always came with... Should come with a stick of gum, and there's no gum in here. So my guess is this came from a repack, and someone opened it and took out whatever was maybe valuable, which, jokes on them, is nothing. Anyways, we'll see. Uh, well, there you go. That's a nice card, Jim Abbott. Number one draft pick, Michigan. That will be uh, the Angels, I believe, is who signed him. Uh, yes, so that's an Angels card. Manny Trillo for the Cubs. Turn back the clock of Dwight Gooden for the Mets. John Moses Twins. Randy Myers for the Mets. I always mm -hmm. love these. They're very simple, but I always loved them. Cubs. Rick Roden for the Yankees. Junk card. Chris Spire for the Giants, Jeff Blauser for the Braves, Danny Heap for the Dodgers, Lance Parrish for the Phillies, mm. Juan Castillo mm -hmm. for the Brewers, Stephen Jeltz for the Phillies, Eric Davis for the Reds, and Jim Acker for the Braves. So again, I'm just doing a couple of quick uh, videos, or packs I should say, while I wait till 7.30 gets here at 7.30 my time, which is in about four minutes or so, I will actually start ripping the three boxes of Topps Heritage. So I've already opened up two bonus packs. Um, this will be the third, and I've actually opened up a pack of Dunruss on the blog um, yesterday, I think, and then I have another pack that I ripped actually a couple days ago, but the post is going live, I believe, tomorrow as part of my Flashback Friday. So it will actually be five bonus packs thrown in here, along with all the Heritage cards. So, you know... No harm in getting extra extra cards, I hope. And if you are watching the video, um, I see the Lost Collector is watching on his com commute right now, so welcome. Um, if you're able to log into the YouTube app, there's actually should be a chat room that's available. I don't have too many people in there currently, uh, but if you're interested in that type of thing, so. Like I said, we're going to start the real break at 7.30 since that's what I post on my blog. I did post all the extra teams. Um, the second team assignments were made about an hour ago or so. So I did post that. But before we get to the good stuff, we have a couple more, well, fairly thick stack of cards to go through and then we'll get going here. So Ian Desmond for the Nationals, a rookie card. Kind of actually a nice card. I don't think I've... I've opened a ton of this stuff, and I don't recognize that that card. Uh, Jordan Schaefer for the Braves. Cesar Ramos for the Padres. Jake Westbrook for the Indians. Pat Burrell for the Rays. Uh, Howie Kendrick for the Angels. Giovanni Gallardo for the Brewers. Bobby Parnell for the Mets. Mike Fontenot for the Cubbies. A biography card of Dallas Braden. That's uh, an insert. There's like a thousand of those, so not particularly great, but it is It is an insert. Luis Valbueno for the Indians. I ended up with the two Ohio teams in this break. Andy Sonnenstein for the Rays. Def Gap commented that he was happy that he did not get the Rays, but here's a Rays card. Uh, who did get the Rays? Collecting Kutch has the Rays in this one. Andrew Miller for Florida, now Miami. Blake DeWitt for the Dodgers. There's a nice Jose Reyes card for the Mets. David Hernandez for the Orioles. Aramis Ramirez for the Cubs. I am having trouble reading that foil tonight. And our ballpark card is of City Field for the Mets. Pretty nice. I like the ballpark card. I, this particular upper deck set, um, I think, 
wasn't great because it was when they they couldn't use the logos or anything but they they did a nice job with most of the city or the um stadium cards that i've seen so i have like those all right what do we got we have one more minute we'll by just a little bit of time yet then we'll get going uh All right, so we are, we have about 30 seconds or so. So I'm going to move these two, two boxes out of the way. We will, of course, rip all three. I'd say I'm saving the best box for last, but of course I have no idea. And I think it is now, or almost now, 7.30, so we should get ripping the actual main event. What do you think? So I see a couple more in the uh, the room here. Welcome. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube itself, there should be a chat available. Otherwise, just, uh, yeah, you haven't missed anything. We're starting right now. So this is the first box of three. And I am going to try to do this in my light box here. So hopefully everything will show up nicely for people. Uh, Heritage does come with box toppers, so we will start with that. Um, I'll be honest with you, I have not looked into uh, what all you can get as a box topper, although I think it's pretty obvious what we got here. We have an original 1969 card inside, so we will open that. Put that right there. There's all the packs. And let me stack these up. set of packs. There's your empty box. Get that out of the way. All right. So the way the group break is going to work, we have three boxes. Um, I did print off the list, so I have it handy of who has what. Uh, I will show the highlights um, on my blog. Uh, I'll try to scan some cards and stuff, and then I'll try to get these off in the mail um, by early next week at the latest. Um, I know for sure that Heritage has lots of variations, uh, image variations and, and short prints and all kinds of stuff. And, and frankly, that's where a lot of the valuable cards are. Um, there's a really high probability that I will not notice those while we open these packs. Um, but I will try to go through a little bit more carefully and read the little code on the back because that's kind of the giveaway um, when I go to do the uh the blog post. I will make sure to try to show every video or yeah, every card on video though. So if you happen to catch one and you're in the uh, y the YouTube channel, feel free to be like, hey, that's a that's a really good one, and and I can back up and and show it off again. But yeah, so every card will ship, including the bonus packs that I've already opened, and we will start with our first pack, which is actually a buyback, and we have for the Cardinals. Dick Hughes. Dick Hughes for the Cardinals. This is a nice buyback. It's actually in pretty good shape. I mean, of course, they soil with that gold stamp there, but um, the card itself looks looks pretty nice, actually. So that's a, that's a good start. I like it. I like it. And, of course, this is what the design is based on. So we're going to get current players in, in this, and then we can compare the, the cards in a moment. So I do have some card sleeves handy, so when we get better ones that I notice, I'll try to sleeve them right away. But without further ado, let's get to it. So hopefully everyone's ready. Room's starting to fill up a little bit. I know some of you are watching in other venues because I post on Twitter and on my blog, so not everyone's in the room, but they're more watching. Uh, we start off with Yasiel Puig for the Dodgers, Wilmer Flores for the Mets, Someone, of course, is trying to call me. We'll get rid of that. Uh, James Paxton for the Mariners. We have, I saw this some somebody's blog. I don't actually remember where I saw this one. Um, it was earlier yesterday, these checklists. I really like the, the style of the checklist. I'm glad um, to see this. It's just numbered part of the base set, 399. I mean, it's nothing special. It'll go to the Nationals, of course. Um, but I, I'm just happy to see it. Uh, James McCann of the Tigers. Hey, BB. Glad to, glad to have you in here. Edwin for the Indians. Domingo Santana for the Brewers. Manny Pina for the Brewers. 
Never heard of him, but he's an all-star rookie. And J.D. Martinez on this card for the Diamondbacks. So we've got, uh, that was our first pack. Again, I'm not going to keep flipping these over to look for short prints and stuff. I will try to highlight if I end up finding, like on the back side here, you probably won't even be able to make it out on my camera. Maybe you can. But there's a code down here, and that tells you, like, if the card's actually rare or something. Uh, but there's no way that I can do that in real time. And, oh, we'll be here forever with me trying to read those little codes. So I will try to catch those later. And if I find any great ones that I miss now, we will uh, highlight them on the blog. But again, if you happen to see one because you're more adept at this than me, just holler and I will. Oh, we have a shiny card uh, in this pack. All right. So with that said, let's keep going. Steven Souza for the Rays. We have Euler, both for the Dodgers. So that's great. I don't have to uh, randomize. All cards that have more than one team, I will randomize at the end um, of the break. Uh, Jose Ramirez, Indians. Eddie Rosario, Twins. We have a chrome. I believe this is a refractor. Yes, it is. Of D.D. Gregorius. So there's our first sort of hit, if you will, of the box. Certainly a good player to get, D.D. Uh, very underrated. Um, that's number 458 out of 569. You can see that up there. Again, I do have some sleeves handy, so let's just sleeve that up right away. Congratulations, the Yankees are Lost Collector, who is watching on his commute. So there you go, buddy. Uh, DJ LeMahieu for the Rockies. Uh, my first Reds card of the Heritage Box, Joey Votto, all-star card. Um, looks like there's a, like the original, there's a puzzle of some type on the back here. Um, bonus points if you can make out who that is from just an eyebrow. Not sure. Uh, Chris Archer for the Rays and Jose Abreu for the White Sox. It's going to be hard for me to type and chat uh, as we go. I do have my laptop open next to this to make sure the video feed is working. Cody Bellinger on the puzzle. All right. I should have guessed that it would be a Dodger. Tops is really loving the Dodgers lately. I think it was was Night Owl that, I don't know, I mean, this probably years ago now, uh, posted something about how Upper Deck always made cards 666. I think he said a Dodger because someone didn't like the Dodgers. Well, I don't know what the opposite of that is, but that's what Tops is. Tops loves the Dodgers. Mm -hmm. All right, Padres, Will Myers, mm -hmm. Greg Holland for the Rockies, Hector Neris for the Phillies. We have a National League All-Star card of Chris Bryant. There's more of the puzzle there. A then and now insert of Jim Palmer and Corey Kluber, so Orioles and Indians. That'll be random off between those two teams. Um, actually, I think I have the Indians, so I'll probably just throw that in the Orioles stack because I, I don't really collect the Indians. I'll randomize the runs with reds if I don't have it, but the Indians I don't really care about. So I'll just send that off to whoever has the Orioles, which is Peter. Addison Russell for the Cubs, Josh Harrison for the Pirates, J.A. Happ for the Blue Jays, and Dodgers 5-run, ninth gets win. Bellinger, Peterson, late power. Um, this was the 2017 World Series special between the Dodgers and the Astros. Uh, I believe there's one for every game in the World Series, so the way that these will go out is if it's about the Dodgers winning, it'll go in the Dodgers pile. If it's about the Astros winning, it'll go in the Astros pile. I think that makes the most sense. All right. We have Austin Hedges for the Padres. Our 2017 strikeout leaders, another one to ran them off at the end. Scherzer, DeGrom, and Robbie Ray. Mookie Betts for the Red Sox. Robbie Ray, just his regular car for the Diamondbacks. David Price for the Red Sox. I like the hedge in the back there. Uh, Lewis Brinson for the Brewers. I was listening on MLB radio, and they were debating today about whether the Brewers can catch and or pass the Cubs this year, and I, I don't see it. Uh, Ian Desmond for the Rockies, American League All-Star Mookie Betts, and 2018 Rookie Star Kyle Farmer, Tim LaCastro, and Okoya Dixon. So Dodgers, Dodgers, Dodgers. So that one will be easy enough. Aaron Judge is on the American League puzzle. Well... 
There you go. If there's one team that Topps loves more than the Dodgers, it's the Yankees. So, again, color me surprised. Uh, Topps really wouldn't impress me. They would have put a Ray on the back puzzle. I don't know who they could have picked. Do the Reds have any? The Raiders have any players left? Uh, but that would have been that would have been interesting. Kendris Morales, DH for the Blue Jays. Jacoby Ellsbury for the Yankees. Carlos Asuehi for the Padres. Here's our hit <laughs> for the Marlins. Got John Carlos Stanton listed as a Marlin right there. Again, you don't really buy Heritage for the hits. Uh, you buy them for the short prints and the variations and everything. I think those are generally worth a lot more than the hits, but I'm pretty sure if we look at the checklist, we could do a lot worse than a Stanton relic. Uh, this is not numbered, um, but it's for the Marlins, and the Marlins is the Dimwit. So, Sam, congratulations on the Stanton relic. Very nice. Wilson Contreras for the Cubs. The Angels get Ian Kinsler, Chris Owings for the Diamondbacks, and Earl is Chapman for the Yankees. I need to see if I have a sleeve for the relic. Yeah, the Stanton is very nice. I'll show that off again now that I got it protected a little bit. And again, everything ships. So base cards, the bonus cards, obviously the hits. So get excited. Oh, we have an all-star card back here, as I can tell by... The pinstripe butt of that card. Stephen Vogt, Brewers, Jake Lamb, Diamondbacks, Adam Jones, Orioles. We have a Deckle Edge card of Manny Machado. I hadn't seen these yet. These are basically full size this year. They're not mini, which is nice, I think. Much easier to store. Um, they kind of just look like they were cut with your mom's craft scissors. Uh, but Manny Machado of the Orioles, which is Peter, so very nice. Very nice card there. I'll put that in a sleeve as well just to protect the edges a bit. Danny Duffy of the Royals, AL All-Star Gary Sanchez. Uh, a lot of All-Stars. Uh, Clayton Kershaw for the National League, Cody Bellinger for the National League, and Jose Altuve for the American League. Uh, Altuve is quickly becoming my favorite player after Joey Votto in baseball right now. Uh, I'm actually starting my own personal collection of Altuve cards. I have like three of them because I don't collect the Astros, but I will be grabbing Altuves as I see them, I think. And as other people do group breaks, don't be surprised if I grab the Astros. Marcus Stroman, Blue Jays, Carlos Martinez, Cardinals, Mike Zunino of the Mariners, Zach Britton, Orioles, Freddie Freeman, for the Braves, Trey Turner for the Nationals, Lucas Gioletti for the White Sox, as well as Johan Moncada for the White Sox, and Marco Estrada for the Blue Jays. Again, I'm not looking for the short prints right now. Um, actually, I, I believe, since I just said it, I think short prints start at 426. Someone could correct me if I'm wrong on that. Uh, that Britain's 441, so I believe, if, if it's normal, that that will be a short print. I'll try to... Again, go through the codes a little bit more carefully for the blog, for the, at least for the image variations. Probably won't scan all the short prints because we should get quite a few. Um, according to the pack wrapper, let's see if it says short prints are one in three packs this year. So, fairly, fairly common. Uh, we should get quite a few of them. Um, but anyways. All right, next pack, Sonny Gray, Yankees, Eric Sogar, Brewers, Kyle Barclaw, Marlins, Paul Goldschmidt for the Diamondbacks, Chris Bryant for the Cubs, so very nice. Short prints are four, there's 100 short prints this year? Good grief, no one will ever finish this set. Magnarius Sierra for the Cardinals, Pujols for the Angels, Sale, Kluber, and Archer, Red Sox, Indians, and Rays, respectively. I'll randomize. All of these cards will get random. Well, not this one. It's just for the Braves. But anything with multiple teams, again, I'll randomize those off uh, at the end. Sims and Albies for the Braves. The Bryant's a short print. Let's see. Oh, it's a... Is this an action variation one? We can look real quick if that's the different code. Yeah, 6601 is the code on the back of that guy. 
So that's, I believe, one of the, I think they're calling them action variations this year. Again, you can tell I didn't really do my research on every single variation because when I went to look, it was it was insane, the different cards. I think like the first Rizzo card has like four different versions of it that you can get or something I saw, and I figured I'll never understand on the fly, so why even try? Great attitude, right? All right, next pack, Chris Davis, Oreos, uh, Masahiro Tanaka, Yankees. Felix Hernandez from the Mariners, Ian Kennedy for the Royals, our first New Age performer, Manny Machado. Better design, in my opinion, than some years of those. Max Scherzer for the Nationals, Martin Maldonado for the Angels, Kevin Gaussman for the Orioles, and Trevor Story for the Rockies. All right. The Franklin Burrito for the Athletics. Brandon Nimmo for the Mets. Marcel Zuna for the Cardinals. Rangers get Delano DeShields. The Cubs get Drew Smiley. Fernando Rodney for the Diamondbacks. D. Gordon for the Mariners. Nolan Arenado for the Rockies. And Gregory Polanco for the Pirates. I'm guessing the packs where I don't see an insert or something obvious, there's a good chance there's a short print. And in fact, there is. Smiley apparently is a short print. Tops did not put the all the Stark players in the short prints this year. I did look to see that that was true. I mean, there are a few back there, I guess, but not as bad as I don't know if it was last year, two years ago. They just put all of the stars in the short prints, and that was that was a bad plan. Uh, Joey Votto for the Reds, pretty nice card there. I'm happy to get that. Matt Chapman for the Athletics. Michael Brantley Indians. Rookie stars for the Reds. Don't well, he's been pitching okay, but don't let this fool you. The Reds have no stars, other than Vado. Uh, Darno for the Mets. Batance is for the Yankees. Rookie stars for the Indians. Sean Newcomb for the Braves, and Peterson and the Dodgers tie the series. So again, uh, best way to do this is Dodger win goes to Dodger pile. Astro win goes to the Astro pile. And maybe someday the Reds will actually win a World Series game again in my lifetime. Sound like a Cubs fan up to a few years ago. Brett Gardner, Yankees. All-star card of Jose Abreu. Jacob deGrom for the Mets. Tim Anderson for the White Sox. Our first news flashback. Cash on demand. About the automated teller machine. Very exciting days in 1969. Uh, these any non-sport card will just be randomized as well at the end of the break. Uh, Noah Syndergaard for the Mets. Uh, Indians get Andrew Miller, Kyle Schwarber for the Cubs, and Carson Paul Fulmer, sorry, for the White Sox. I don't think Carson Palmer is playing a lot of baseball these days. Maybe got a Altuve jersey card out of Heritage. Well, that would be a good hit. Altuve is pretty awesome. Speaking. <laughs> Speaking of Altuve, I was not rigged. I did not see that until I just looked down. Uh, Altuve base card, uh, number 35. So not a short print unless it's a variation. I don't think that it is. 65, 65. Nope, just normal base card. Michael Taylor for the Nationals. Indians get Carlos Santana. Rook, uh, rookie stars for the Rockies. Orioles Trumbo. Reds Adam Duvall. Rookie stars for the White Sox. Edwin Diaz for the Mariners, and Enrique Hernandez for the Dodgers. So we've got an image variation of Chris Bryant already, so that's obviously nice. And our relic was uh, Stanton, but for the Marlins. So nice pull there. One of the final times you'll get one of those in a Marlins uniform, most likely. Alex Wood for the Dodgers. Checklist, uh, Mike Trout, so that'll go in the Angels pile since he's the one featured on it. Sean Manea for the A's. Mm -hmm. Jorge Alfaro for the mm -hmm. Phillies. Luis Severino for the Yankees. Pat Vileka for the Rockies. Starlin Castro for the Marlins. That's a lot of clouds back there. Yankees, Jordan Montgomery and Luke Weaver for the Cardinals. Well over halfway through box number one. 
I love the thickness of Heritage cards. You can say what you want about tops, but hey, look, it's Chris Bryan again. I think that's just the normal one, I think. Pretty nice, though. Mm -hmm. Bryce Harper for the Nationals. Michael Pineda for the Yankees. Kershaw, Greinke, and Davies, pitching leaders. Again, mm -hmm. shuffle, randomized between those teams. Mm -hmm. uh, McCovey rolls a pair of sixes for the Giants. He drove in half a dozen runs in a game multiple times in a single season. Pretty cool. Hanley Ramirez, Red Sox. Home run leaders for the American League, Gallo, Davis, and everybody's favorite, Aaron Judge. Kendall Graveman for the Athletics, and Chris Sale for the Red Sox. They obviously just had all the Red Sox line up along that hedgerow and took their pictures all at the same time. Kind of like the Tigers always have trees in the background of their heritage pictures. Uh, something I noticed many, many years ago with, with Detroit. Evisail Garcia, White Sox. Brad Bach, uh, Orioles. Paul DeYoung, Cardinals. Joe Maurer for the Twins. I feel like he's been playing forever. Stephen Piscotti, Cardinals. Brandon Phillips now with the Angels. Mariners, Nelson Cruz. Pat Neshek for the Rockies. And McCuller and Peacock, Quiet Bats. That's an Astros win. So that will go in the Astros pile. That is game three. Mm -hmm. It was a great World Series. Very entertaining. One of the better ones in... Well, I guess the year before was good, too, but I was rooting for the Astros, so that was nice to see for me. Rizzo for the Cubs. Yeah, there's like four versions of this card, I think. Chris Taylor, Dodgers. Kyle Freeland, Rockies. Ichiro for the Marlins. David Robertson for the Yankees. Aaron Hicks for the Yankees. Joey Gallo for the Rangers. Francisco Cervelli for the Pirates. And Cruz, Judge, and Davis, RBI leaders, Mariners, Yankees, and Athletics, respectively. Just stacking all the cards up, so I will pull out all those multi-team ones and just randomize them. Um, probably, well, I can do them on video if someone really wants me to. I will obviously do if we get a hit that's multi-team on video, but otherwise I'll just do them all quickly. Uh, Christian Vasquez, Red Sox, Bradley Zimmer, Indians, Adam Eaton, Nationals are another Deckel Edge. This one is Chris Sale. Not a lot going on back here of the Red Sox. Let's throw a sleeve on that guy to protect it a bit. Uh, Jed Lowry, A's, Ruffin and Ordor, Rangers, Astros win. Uh, so that's that was game five. Astros win this one. That was the final game, game seven. And Fulton Hits for the Braves. We've got a fair number of people in the room now, so welcome to everyone. We're still on box number one. We're just about done with it. Orlando Arcia for the Brewers. Braves rookie stars. Mike Moustakis Royals. Chisholm Hall for the Indians. Doolittle Nationals. Charlie Morton for the Astros. Brandon Kinsler for the Nationals. Batting leaders for the American League, Ramirez, Hosmer, Garcia, and Altuve once again. And Caleb Joseph for the Orioles. This pack feels thicker than with the others. I don't know why. That might just be me. Uh, Aaron Alther for the Phillies. Uh, AL All-Star Justin Upton for the Angels. The Rays get Alex Colomb. Pirates get Garrett Cole, who was traded. Well, I guess they didn't know that. Uh, Phillies Rookie Stars. Jose Barreros for the Twins. Hunter Pence for the Giants. Wilson Ramos for the Rays. Carl Edwards Jr. for the Cubs. I have pack wrappers all over behind my chair. I was trying to get them in the trash can. And they're not... They're not cooperating. George Springer, Astros, John Gray, Rockies, Justin Verlander for the Astros, Jackie Bradley Jr. with the Hedgerow for the Red Sox, Mariners, Yonder Alonso. There's a nice Cody Bellinger, New Age performer for the Dodgers. Uh, the Dodgers are Spiegel. Probably be happy to get that one, I would think. Reynaldo Lopez for the White Sox, rookie stars for the Nationals, and Johnny Cueto for the Giants. Hopefully you guys can make out all the cards as I'm going through these. Again, let me know if 
this works better. Um, I'm doing everything inside the light box, so I'm hoping that that's helping everyone be able to see things better. But I'm using my cell phone, so uh, I, my webcam on my laptop doesn't really let me do what I wanted to do as well. So hopefully this is working. Gene Segura, Mariners. The Cubs get that checklist. The Yankees get that checklist. Rockies, Blackman, Charlie Blackman, Joe Musgrove for the Astros. I th yeah, that's a short print, I believe, 489 in the set, pretty sure. German Marquez, Rockies, Josh Bell for the Pirates, and Drilte Simmons for the Angels, and Matt Adams for the Braves. Two more packs in this box, and then we have two more boxes. Still hoping that we pull one of those Otani autographs. I just think that'd be cool. Uh, Kenta Maeda for the Dodgers, Max Kepler for the Twins, Hunter Renfro for the Padres, Cole Calhoun for the Angels. We have a Derek Fisher. Now this has a stamp on it, a 10th anniversary. Just kidding, a 100th anniversary stamp. If you can make that out in the gold. It's not numbered, but it is stamped. Well, that's going to the Astros. I'm going to throw that in a sleeve only because I don't want to miss that later. I have to look into mm -hmm. what exactly that is. That's only one of those stamps I've seen so far. Jose DeLeon for the Rays, Lindor for the Indians, Evan Longoria for the Rays, and Christian Yellick for the Marlins. And our final pack of box number one of three boxes. Jesse Winker for the Reds. Rookie Stars for the Red Sox. National League All-Star, Giancarlo Stanton. Javier Baez for the Cubs. Our, I think this is our first... No, maybe we had another one of these. Then and Now cards, Marshall and Martinez. I think we did have one earlier. Corey Seager. The 100th anniversary parallel. Odds are 1 in 277. All right. Well, what do you know? That's pretty good then. Again, I need to look all these things up, and I'll make sure to scan that, but pretty nice. Kind of weird that they're that rare, but they're not numbered in any way, shape, or form. Can you imagine trying to put together the full set of that? Wow. Uh, Corey Seager for the Dodgers, another all-star card. Kevin Kiermeyer for the Rays, and then the Giants rookie stars and the Athletics rookie stars. Hey Wes, welcome to the group break. Thanks for uh, jumping in at the last moment to claim the final slot. That was much appreciated. All right, so that was box number one. I will go back through um, at the end of the break and show off the hits, and if someone points out a particularly rare card that I have missed, I know we have some action variations and things that are in my pile. I will sort those out and scan them for the blog. So uh, that I will do. What's up, octopus? Fiber octopus. I'm not sure who you are, but I like your name. All right, this is box number two. Box number two. Did I cut through these? I did. Oh, Gavin, good to see you. Welcome. Box number two. Let me clean up my mess real quick down here. We're still looking for that... Uh, Otani autograph. We're still looking for a Seattle Pilots autograph. I think either of those would be cool. Hey, we got another buyback. So we'll open that first. But let me get these packs out so we can get the box out of here. Empty box. Get that out of my way. All right, so this is box number two. Once again, we will start with the buyback. And this time our buyback is for the Orioles. We have Pete Richard, Richard for the Orioles. 
Nice little buyback there. I'm assuming they're all done with the gold stamp. Some of yours tops changes their stamp color, but we've got two gold stamp cards, so I'm going to go with that's That's what they're doing. Uh, we started on the right last time. Let's start on the left this time. We'll mix it up. We'll mix it up. All right. So we're going to probably get some duplicate base cards at this point, but that's okay. Um, heritage base cards are some of the nicer ones to have, and they're usually easy to trade because everyone's trying to build this set. So Trout, I think we already have that as a checklist card, but perhaps I'm wrong. Chris Bryant, base, Bryce Harper. This feels like the exact pack I opened before. Paul DeYoung, Joe Maurer, Pat Valeka, Hanley Ramirez, Jordan Montgomery, and Luke Weaver. That one's different. I don't remember that picture, at least. The rest of those almost seem like they're in the same order to me. Yeah, if I were opening the box for myself, I probably wouldn't open the buyback pack. I would probably trade or, or sell it. I'm not really that big into the buybacks, but for the group break, uh, I pretty much have to open them, so I won't know who else to send it to. Garcia, White Sox, Brock, Oreos, Piscotti, Cardinals, Reggie, uh, flashbacks for the Athletics, home run leaders Judge, Davis, and Gallo. Mariners get Nelson Cruz, Kendall Graveman for the Athletics, Chris Sale for the Red Sox, and there's one of those Astros World Series cards. Let's see. Um, Gavin, who did you end up with your, the Padres? That's right. You were happy to not have the Rays. Rizzo for the Cubs. Chris Taylor, Dodgers, Ichiro, Marlins, David Robertson, Yankees, Brad Ziegler for the Marlins. That's a short print. It almost seems like the short prints have like a darker print to them. I, I've actually spotted a couple of them, then I flip them over, and they actually are short prints. So I don't know if that's that's true or just my own eyes kind of tricking me. Pat Nishik, Rockies, Aaron Hicks, Yankees, Cervelli, Pirates, and the AL RBI leaders, Judge Davis and Cruz. Yeah, I was happy to not get the Twins. Uh, I did a couple of the group breaks over on the Iron Lion. Those of you that maybe follow that, uh, that Sam, uh, the Dimwit, is part of. And I joined a couple of baseball mixers where you didn't get to pick your team. It was just randomized. And I ended up with the twins both times. And, you know, who collects twin cards? Nobody. So that was kind of disappointing. Uh, Kyle Freeland, Rockies. I still need to write those posts about those, but I haven't got them up yet. Christian Vasquez, Red Sox, Adam Eaton, Nationals, Braves, Rookie Stars. Royals, Mike Moustakis, Joey Gallo, Rangers, Jed Lowry, Athletics, and we've got two more World Series cards for the Astros. Still looking for our promise autograph or relic in this box. Every box has uh, one promised autograph or relic. Although, like I said, I mean, obviously there's a few big names for the autos, but the real value in Heritage is usually in the short prints and the variations and perhaps that fairly rare patch card. Uh, Indians, Bradley Zimmer, Orlando Arcia for the Brewers, Aaron Alter for the Phillies, Alex Colom Rays, uh, Garrett Cole for the Pirates, Raphael Devers for the Red Sox, New Age Performer. Yeah, I can always use a Twins collector. Let me know if you ever find a Marlins or a Rays collector. That's really what I need. Roughnet Odor for the Rangers. Doolittle for the Nationals. And Mike Fultonowitz for the Braves. I'm sure I said that wrong. Yeah, I will post the uh, contents that I got from the Twins group break. Um, I think I had the Twins and Mets one time. And I had the twin. It was a two-team thing. I forget who I had the second time. But, uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll have to. I'll write a blog post about it, and then uh, maybe I can check out Brian and Wes. Yeah, by all means, if you know somebody else, send them my way. I I don't trade with a lot of Twins collectors. Uh, Justin Upton for the Angels, George Springer, Astros, Phillies rookie stars, Justin Verlander, Astros, 
Adrian Beltre Rangers, Charlie Morton Astros, Brandon Kinsler for the Nationals, AL batting leaders Altuve, Garcia, Hanley, and Hosmer, and Caleb Joseph for the Orioles. Ah, okay. Well, I'll have to I'll have to uh, see if Brian has any interest in the modest pile of twins I end up with. I did end up with an autograph in in the one break though, but um, yeah, just it's not for me. So, John Gray, Rocky, Segura, Mariners, Bradley, Red Sox, Alonzo, Mariners, Nolan Arenado, Rockies. That that might be a variation. That is a variation card. Its number is 6601, so I believe that's one of those action variations for the Rockies. And the Rockies are going to Spiegel. Pretty nice Nolan Arenado there. Jose Barreras for the Twins, Hunter Pence Giants, Wilson Ramos Rays, and Carl Edwards Jr. for the Cubs. Checklist for the Cubs, Kenta Maeda for the Dodgers, checklist for the Yankees, Charlie Blackman for the Rockies. We have a Raphael Devers Deco Edge rookie card. Put that in there to protect that for the Red Sox. Red Sox, of course, this time were Shane. Ronaldo Lopez for the White Sox, Nationals rookie star. Johnny Cueto, Giants, and Dolte Simmons, Angels. One stack down. Let's go to the middle. We'll just go left to right this time. Still looking for a promised hit. Jacoby Ellsbury, Yankees. Stephen Vaught, Brewers. Jake Lamb, Diamondbacks. Mike Zunino, Mariners. Kyle Barclaw, Marlins. Anthony Rizzo, New Age Performer. The green and blue looks pretty good together on that one. I like that. Lucas Gialetti for the White Sox. Uh, Jose Altuve All-Star card. Again, I love me some Altuve. And Yohan Moncada for the White Sox. So hopefully everyone's had at least a card or base card or two by now. Stroman for the Blue Jays, Sonny Gray for the Yankees, Paul Goldschmidt, Diamondbacks, Felix Hernandez for the Mariners, Yolmer Sanchez for the White Sox. I think that could be a short print. Not sure. Double check on that. It's 422. If the last 100 are short prints, it is. Magneria Sierra for the Cardinals, Albert Pujols for the Angels, Marco Estrada for the Blue Jays, and Sale Kluber and Archer AL strikeout leaders. Again, at the end of the break, I'll go back through some of the highlights. I will post, uh, go through all the cards with a fine-tooth comb and try to pick out the variations, and I will uh, rescan those for the blog as well for those of you that are joined late. Uh, we have a blackboarded card in this one. Eric Sogard, Brewers, Chris Davis, Orioles, Orioles, Ian Kennedy for the Royals, Marcel Ozuna for the Cardinals, for the Padres, a blackboarded chrome card these are quite rare uh this one is numbered 50 out of 69 on the back so congratulations gavin will myers i mean if you're gonna get a padre that's probably the one right and black bordered very nice very nice indeed i'll sleeve that right up immediately let's put that in the Sort of hit pile, if you will. The black bordered cards are one in 52 packs, so pretty rare. Pretty cool. Max Scherzer, Nationals, Marta Maldonado, Angels, Braves, Rookie Stars, and Kevin Gaussman for the Orioles. Again, the real value in Heritage is not the hits. I mean, sure, there's some really nice autographs and, and fancy hits to be had, but it's everything else, like that black bordered card. Uh, Masahiro Tanaka, Yankees, Franklin Burrito, Athletics, Rangers, Delano De Shields, Michael Brantley for the Indians, uh, Anthony Rizzo, Deckle Edge for the Cubs, 
Pretty nice there. Fernando Rodney for the Diamondbacks, D. Gordon for the Mariners, Trevor Story, and Nolan Arenado, both for the Rockies. I actually really enjoy the Heritage set. I'm still mad at Heritage because I've been working on a couple of my sets for literally years and years, so I refuse to start a new one until I finish some of my old ones. But, yeah, I, I really do like the set. And this one in particular seems really nice. Brandon Nimmo, Mets, there's a little more personality in the uh, in the cards, um, like this Vado, uh, which we already have pulled once already. Red rookie star again, Jacob deGrom for the Mets, Matt Harvey for the Mets, Travis Darno for the Mets, a lot of Mets in there. Batance is for the Yankees, Gregory Polanco for the Pirates, and Sean Newcomb for the Braves. Get these out of here. Still looking for the actual hit, but... Can't complain about getting a black border chrome card. Matt Chapman, Athletics, Brett Garner, Yankees, Tim Anderson, White Sox, Carlos Santana, Indians. Uh, more Indians, they're rookie stars. Noah Syndergaard for the Mets. Jock Peterson tying the series up, so that goes to the Dodgers. Kyle Schwarber for the Cubs. Carson Fulmer for the White Sox. Jose Abreu, all-star for the White Sox. Jose Altuve for the Astros. Rockies, rookie stars. Sean Manea, uh, athletics. Take that, sound barrier. <laughs> oh, that's goofy. I like it, though. It made me laugh. Uh, Indians, Andrew Miller. Adam Duvall for the Reds. Edwin Diaz for the Mariners. And Enrique Hernandez for the Dodgers. I think Altani, besides the autograph, which is you know, selling for like outrageous sums right now. Um, I think that there's also a rookie variation where he steals somebody else's rookie card that's in the base set. So there are a couple of different Otanis in here, I do believe. Uh, Michael Taylor for the Nationals, Alex Wood for the Dodgers, Jorge Alfaro for the Phillies, Pineda for the Yankees, National League pitching leaders, Kershaw, Grinke, and Davis. Brewers get Ryan Braun. Uh, White Sox rookie stars, Yankees Luis Severino, and Starlin Castro for the Marlins. That finishes off the middle chunk. That leaves us with just the far right side. Brett Phillips, Brewers, Diamondbacks rookie stars, Orioles, come back here, Orioles rookie stars, Dallas Keiko for the Astros. Louis Perdomo for the Padres. That, I believe, is a short print. Numbered 499. Uh, number 499 in the set, I mean. Colin Wong Cardinals, Kevin Pillar Blue Jays, Astros Cameron Mabin, and the Rays get Corey Dickerson. Yeah, the fun thing about group breaks where you get a random team is sometimes that random team ends up doing better than the team you wanted, and then you don't feel so bad because you got something good out of it. So I like to do it this way. Um, but anyways, yeah. Zach Davis, Brewers, Gio Gonzalez, Nationals, Matt Holiday, Yankees, James Paxton, Mariners, another checklist card for the Dodgers this time, and Edwin Encarnacion, Indians, Jose Quintana for the Cubs, Dansby Swanson, Braves, and Yankees, Rookie Stars. Jorge Polanco for the Twins. Twins get rookie stars. Nationals get the checklist. Indians get Jose Ramirez. Francisco Lindor. Deco Edge also for the Indians. Get that in a sleeve real quick. Try to get the light so we can see that one. Black and white. Look nice and old timey. Uh, Domingo Santana Brewers, DJ LeMahieu Rockies, Carlos Beltran Astros, and Manny Pena for the Brewers. Still looking for that hit, although I think last box it was on the right side and it was one of these middle packs, so if that's where they always pack it, then we should be getting it soon. Nothing seems to be thick in this pack. Yasiel Puig for the Dodgers, Wilmer Flores Mets, Eddie Rosario Twins, Hector Nearest Phillies, uh, Chris Bryant All-Star, Matt Boyd Tigers, Joey Votto All-Star, Addison Russell Cubs, and J.D. Martinez Diamondbacks. 
We have a hit in this pack. Because I see a thick card. Steven Souza Jr., Rays. Uh, Dodgers, rookie star. Uh, Red Sox get Mookie Betts. And the Red Sox get our second hit of the break. Pretty nice Hanley Ramirez. Again, not numbered on the back. They don't usually, in fact, I don't know if they ever number the clubhouse collections in this set, but uh, the Red Sox are going to Shane. So congratulations to Shane on that one. Let me just sleeve that up right away. Very nice. Uh, Josh Harrison, pull that out. Josh Harrison, Ian Desmond for the Rockies, Chris Archer Rays, Jose Abreu White Sox. I'm pulling the hits out just to show those off at the end. For those that are coming in late, I will highlight everything that I, the hits that I spotted and rareish cards. There's a regular Will Myers for the Padres. Greg Holland Rockies, Diamondbacks get Robbie Ray, a then and now between Palmer and Kluber. Um, I think that's our second one of those, so now one can go in each team pile. Mookie Betts for the Red Sox. Cubs get Wilson Contreras. Blue Jays get J.A. Happ. Dodgers get their World Series card. And rookie stars of Farmer, LaCostro, and Dixon. Randomized at the end. Two more for this box, and then we have one more box. Austin Hedges, David Price for the Red Sox. Carlos Oswehi for the Padres. Lorenzo Cain for the Royals. I think that's a short print. And Kinsler Angels, Danny Duffy Royals, Gary Sanchez Yankees, Chris Owings Diamondbacks, and Chapman for the Yankees. And our final pack of this second box begins with strikeout leaders of Scherzer, DeGrom, and Robbie Ray, Kendris Morales Blue Jays, Adam Jones Orioles, Carlos Martinez Cardinals. We have a black bordered card. It's not chrome, it's just black bordered of the Indians uh, rookie stars, which I guess is yet another parallel in the set. I'm counting on uh, counting on my audience to tell me exactly what I just pulled there. I'll look it up eventually, but I don't know how rare that is. It's not numbered, so it's probably not super rare. Freddie Freeman for the Braves, Trey Turner for the Nationals, Clayton Kershaw, and Cody Bellinger both for the Dodgers. Of course, I said that that stamp card isn't super rare, and then I was informed that it was like one in 200 packs or whatever. So what do I know? And that is it for box number two. One, one big mess behind me of packs. Try to get those back in the trash can. One box left. Here we go. Final box. Still hoping for... One of those really big, exciting hits. Although, I think we're doing all right. Got some good stuff spread around. We can't really complain about our two relics. They're both decent players, at least. But we always can hope for something extra exciting, right? So let's hope this last one. We got another buyback. That there. Let's grab our packs. One, there's two, and there's three. There's the empty box. All right, so in the first two boxes, the hit has been in this column. So let's play the odds, and we'll open that stack last, shall we? We will start with our box topper. Chat wasn't working for you for a while. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, not sh I'm hoping... I'm hoping that this works. Uh, if YouTube doesn't work, we can always try it on Facebook, but then you have to have a Facebook account, and you know, not everyone does, and they don't necessarily want to join random groups and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know, BB. I hope it, I hope it definitely will work out. For the Pirates, we have a buyback card of Luke Walker for the Pirates. That's collecting Kutch. Jumped in for those, so very nice. Probably be excited to get that. Another gold stamp there. All right, let's uh, let's hope for some good stuff. What do you say? We're moving along nicely here. Pack number one. 
Avisel Garcia for the White Sox, Brad Brock, Orioles, Stephen Piscotti, Cardinals, Ichiro Marlins, David Robertson, Yankees, Pat Neshek, Rockies, Aaron Hicks, Yankees, Luke Weaver, Cardinals, Kendall Graveman, Athletics. Anthony Rizzo for the Cubs, Chris Taylor for the Dodgers. Fifty copies of that card. Wow. For the black border. Not bad then. Adam Eaton for the Nationals. Paul Goldschmidt for the Diamondbacks. Deckel Edge. A lot of parallels in this year's um, heritage set, but I guess that gives extra chances for value and whatnot. So I'm that's okay. I, I guess as a as a group break host, that's a good thing, right? Joey Gallo Rangers, Jed Lowry Athletics, Chris Sale Red Sox, Astros World Series card, and RBI Leaders of Cruz, Judge, and Davis. Yeah, I will try to make sure of finding out all the good details of the odds um, for all those. It's just, I mean, look at that. Look at that pack wrapper. Like, there's, there's really no way to read that in real time. So it's much, much easier to, to do that when I have a little more time on my hands. Kyle Freeland, Rockies, Christian Vesca, Red Sox, Braves, Rookie Stars, Mike Moustakis, Royals, Kyle Gibson, Twins, Rangers, Ruffnet Odor, Charlie Morton for the Astros, Francisco Cervelli for the Pirates, and the Astros winning game five. So we've got a couple of fairly rare parallels based on what I'm reading here. Not bad. Bradley Zimmer, Indians, Orlando Arcia, Brewers. Looks like we have a chrome card in this pack. Alex Colom, Rays. Pirates get Garrett Cole. Well, there we go. For the Nationals, this is also a refractor, which it does say in that upper... I don't know if I can get my camera to focus on it where you can read it, but in this T here, it does say refractor. Uh, it is numbered 272 out of 569. Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper Chrome Refractor. Very nice. Very nice card for Peter. Peter claimed the Nationals. Not bad at all. Sean Doolittle for the Nationals. Brandon Kinsler for the Nationals. Springer winning World Series game. And Mike Fultonowitz for the Braves. Yeah, that's a, that's a highlight so far for sure. Very nice. Usually when I buy myself a box, I pull like a, a a chrome of, I don't know, a relief pitcher for the Rays or something, and it's total garbage. So I'm obviously happy to get a, a chrome refractor of, you know, what is arguably one of the star players, maybe one of the best players in the game, depending on who you ask. Aaron Alther, Phillies. Upton for the Angels. Springer for the Astros. Phillies, rookie stars. Justin Verlander for the Mets. Ahmed Rosario, New Age Performer. Mets, uh, BB, there you go. Nice little Mets insert for you. Jose Barrios for the Twins, Hunter Pence for the Giants, and AL Altuve, Garcia, Ramirez, and Hosmer. So I'm wondering if the connection is cutting in and out. I, I see our watch people watching it's going up and down up and down constantly so i don't know if the youtube platform is as stable or what but the rest uh seems to be working for a good number of people at least uh yeah just let me know just let me know what you think either comments or on the blog or email or whatever i'm, I'm always trying to, to get these to be better and better for everybody so john gray Rockies, segura mariners jackie bradley jr red sox alonzo mariners Lance Lynn for the Cardinals. Uh, that's a short print. Ronaldo Lopez, White Sox, Nationals rookie stars. Caleb Joseph, Orioles, and Wilson Ramos for the Rays. I know one thing that would make it better if I had all of the different inserts memorized, but hey, I can only do so much, right? Uh, Cubs checklist, Kenta Maeda for the Dodgers. Yankees checklist, Charlie Blockman for the Rockies. All right, now we have another parallel this is 
uh, I believe this is a reverse stock. A reverse stock parallel. The backside has like the glossy front and the front side has the more grainy cardboardy back of Andrew Miller of the Indians. I think they're calling that a reverse stock parallel. So that's another Indian hit. Uh, German Mazquez for the Rockies, Josh Bell Pirates, Carl Edwards Jr. for the Cubs, and Johnny Cueto for the Giants. Yeah, I think it's a YouTube thing as well, BB. Uh, I'm not sure. Flipstock, there's the name. Max Kepler, Twins, Jesse Winker, Reds, Hunter Renfro, Padres, Cole Calhoun, Angels. Give Peace a Chance. 1969, now it's 2018. We're still saying the same thing. So I don't think that particular protest worked. Jose De Leon Reyes, Cody, Corey Seager for the Dodgers, Andrelte Simmons for the Angels, and Matt Adams for the Braves. Next pack. We're now in the middle column of our final box. Marcus Stroman, Blue Jays, Sonny Gray, Yankees, Eric Sogard, Brewers, Paul Goldschmidt, Diamondbacks, Felix Hernandez, Mariners, Gary Sanchez, New Age Performer for the Yankees. Pretty nice. Max Scherzer, Nationals, Yohan Moncada for the White Sox, and Marco Estrada for the Blue Jays. Selfishly, I know that there's a, I believe it's Johnny Bench and Joey Votto tool um, relic autograph in this set. I'd really like to pull that. Um, that's, that's what I'm hoping for. Chris Davis, Orioles, Masahiro Tanaka, Yankees, Ian Kennedy, Royals, Marcelo Zuna, Cardinals, Jose Iglesias, Tigers. That's a short print, I do believe. Fernando Rodney, Diamondbacks, Martin Maldonado, Angels. Uh, strikeout leaders, Sale, Kluber, and Archer. And Braves, Rookie Stars. Next. Franklin Barito, Athletics, Mets, Brandon Nimmo, Delano DeShields, Rangers, Michael Brantley, Indians, D. Gordon for the Mariners, Travis Darno, Mets, Dylan Batances, Yankees, Kevin Gelsman, Orioles, Trevor Story, Rockies. Still hoping for that final hit. Joey Votto, Reds, I think we got him in all three boxes. Matt Chapman, Athletics, Reds, Rookie Stars, I think think we got that in all three as well. Jacob DeGrom. And behind him is a Gary Sanchez Deckel Edge for the Yankees. Uh, Indians Rookie Stars. Noah Syndergaard for the Mets. Arenado for the Rockies. I think we got three of that one as well. And Polanco for the Pirates. So yeah, the last... There's 100 short prints in the set. That means there's only 400 base cards, and for the stack of cards you get in a box, you're going to get a lot of duplicates before you come even close to finishing the full set, you know, with the short prints, never mind all the variations. So just crazy to actually try to complete this thing. Brett Garner, Yankees. Jose Abreu, White Sox. Tim Anderson, White Sox. Carl Santana, Indians. Familia for the Mets. Miller for the Indians. Duvall for the Reds. Newcomb for the Braves. And another World Series card for the Dodgers. I think you're much better off being a player collector or maybe even a team collector for Heritage. Set is just crazy. Jose Altuve again for the Astros. Nationals get Taylor. Rookie Stars for the Rockies. Sean Manea for the Athletics. White Sox Rookie Stars. Luis Severino for the Yankees. Kyle Schwarber for the Cubs. Carson Fulmer White Sox. Edwin Diaz for the Mariners. Two more in this column. Then we'll get to the final column of the break. Alex Wood, Dodgers, Angels, Checklist. Phillies get Jorge Alfaro, uh, or maybe it's George Alfaro. Michael Pineda, Yankees. A then and now for Catfish, Hunter, and Chris Sale. So that will be randomized between the Athletics, which is K.O. Rob, and the Red Sox, which is Shane. Pat Valeka, Rockies, Hanley Ramirez, Red Sox, Enrique Hernandez, Dodgers, and Starlin Castro for the Marlins. And 
Next, we have Chris Bryant for the Cubs. Bryce Harper. These two guys seem to be back-to-back -back each time for the Nationals. Kershaw, Grenke, and Davis for uh, National League Pitching Leaders. Paul Young, Cardinals. Joe Maurer, Twins. Padres, Jose Perella. Uh, AL Home Run Leaders, Davis Judge Gallo. Cruz for the Mariners. And Jordan Montgomery for the Yankees. Nice rookie cup there. So two thirds of the box complete. This is it. Final third of the final box. Still have one hit to go. Gio Gonzalez, Nationals. Jorge Polanco, Twins. Dallas Keiko, Astros. Matt Holliday, Yankees. Jorge Bonifacio for the Royals. That's a short print. Domingo Santana, Brewers. Lemayhu for the Rockies. Corey Dickerson, Rays. Jose Quintana for the Cubs. Twins, rookie stars. Puig for the Dodgers. James Paxson for the Mariners. Harper, checklist for the Nationals. Jose Ramirez for the Indians. Votto, all-star card. Addison Russell for the Cubs. Dansby Swanson for the Braves. And Wade and Cooper for the Yankees. Oh, I missed your comment, BB, where you said you needed that, Rosario. Good, I'm glad you got it then. Mets, Flores, Souza, Rays, Rosario, Twins, Phillies, Hector Neris. News flashback 0 to 200. Dodge Charger, Daytona. Uh, was the first car to in NASCAR to break the 200 mile per hour barrier. Josh Harrison, Pirates, Ian Desmond, Rockies, Beltran for the Astros, and Pina for the Brewers. We should be getting close to where that final hit is. It seems to always be on the right-hand side of these boxes, about halfway down or so. Dodgers, Rookies, Padres, Will Myers, Chris Bryant, All-Star, Mookie Betts, Diamondbacks, Rob Robbie Ray, Alex Cobb for the Rays, Mookie Betts, All-Star for the Red Sox. Cubs get Wilson Contreras and J.D. Martinez for the Diamondbacks. This is probably the pack with the hit. Yes, it is. I can see it. I can see a thick, thicker card in there. Uh, Greg Holland, Rockies. Austin Hedges, Padres. Red Sox get John Gray. Whoops, just kidding. John Gray is the... I was skipping ahead. David Price for the Red Sox. There's our third hit. John Gray for the Rockies. The Rockies are Spiegel this time around. So that's our third relic of the break. Let me sleeve that guy up. It's not the Joey Votto, Johnny Bench dual relic auto that I was hoping for, but still nice that someone else got a hit in, involved here. Kinsler Angels, Danny Duffy Royals, Chris Archer Rays, and Jose Abreu White Sox. Couple more packs to go. Three more, precisely. NL Strikeout Leader, Scherzer, DeGrom, Ray, Kendris Morales, Blue Jays, uh, Carlos Asuei, Padres, Flashbacks, Pirates, uh, Willie Stargell, Gary Sanchez for the Yankees, Ray Freeman Braves, J.A. Happ for the Blue Jays, Dodgers get Peterson, and Dodgers get the Rookie Stars. Two packs remain in the group break, and then we will be done. Ellsbury for the Yankees, Jones for the Orioles, Carlos Martinez for the Cardinals, Marquez for the Braves, Trey Turner for the Nationals, Giolito White Sox, Diamondbacks get Chris Owings, Earl Strumman for the Yankees, Clayton Kershaw All-Star, for the Dodgers, of course. And the final pack of the group break. Let's end it with something. How about a black border card? Let's end with that one. Let me just sneak these out here. We'll end with one more black bordered card. Um, Magneria Sierra for the Cardinals. Albert Pujols for the Angels. Cody Bellinger, all-star card for the Dodgers. Altuve, all-star card for the Astros. Stephen Vogt for the Brewers, Jake Lamb, Diamondbacks, Mike Zunino for the Mariners, the Marlins, 
get Kyle Barclaw. And our final black border card is a Yankee. Any guesses who we get? Dellen Batances. Another black bordered uh, parallel. So we did quite well actually with those. And that, my friends, is our group break. Let me run through the hits real quick and some of the cards I pulled out just so everyone can see that. And then, like I said, I'll go through and try to find the image variations. So the one we just found a second ago, the black bordered Dome Batances. We had a John Gray Relic for the Rockies. We had a flip stock uh, card of Andrew Miller of the Indians. We had a Chrome Refractor, Bryce Harper, probably one of the highlights of the break, a number out of 569, Bryce Harper for the Nationals. Uh, one of our, we actually ended up with three buybacks, one in each box. We got Luke Walker here. I think the buybacks are better than those um, uh, three panel car advertising cards. I don't really like those and they're a pain to ship. So personally, I'm happy that we got what we did get. Uh, we had another black bordered parallel, this one for the Indians. Our second hit of the break was Hanley Ramirez for the Red Sox. That was a relic. We had a black bordered chrome uh, card, Will Myers for the Padres. That was numbered out of 69. Our second buyback was Pete Richard of the Orioles. We had one of the 108th anniversary stamps, or 100th, I still can't read. I guess it's the 100th anniversary stamps. That was for the Astros. Pretty rare there. Um, our buyback in the first box was Dick Hughes of the Cardinals. And our first relic and the final card to show off was Giancarlo Stanton of the Marlins. So once again, thanks everyone. Yeah, I'm sorry, uh, Gavin. No, Otani, I was hoping that would have been awesome. I really wanted the... Uh, uh, the the thrill, if you will, of pulling the Otani, and I'd have been really happy for you if we had got one. Um, I think I think that Heritage is still a, a pretty decent buy for a group break. You, you're gonna everyone's gonna end up with a lot of cards. I mean, let me scoop these hits up and show you what we have here. But if you so, this is three boxes worth of hits, but here's just the last box, not counting the cards I took out. and multiply that stack by three because we did three boxes. So there will be plenty of cards going out to everyone. Um, I will do my best to um, spend probably the weekend scan going through trying to find the image variations and scanning those, and then I'll start to pack them up. And hopefully by Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, I will have everything shipped up and out to you guys. Um, I believe I think everyone gave me their address. I think you had to. Hopefully I set it up right through uh, PayPal. So I will just be able to uh, update you right through there with the tracking numbers and everything um, once I have uh, everything packed. So yeah, thanks again, everyone. Uh, it was fun. Um, let me know if you'd like another group break in the near future. Um, I have a baby on the way. Well, my wife has a baby on the way in uh, the end of May, but I will have probably some time in March and April to do another one or two if people are interested. Uh, let me know what kind of products to look into. If I know early enough, I can hopefully get boxes for a better price. Um, I ended up having to pay 125 bucks a pop for these three boxes, um, mostly just because of Otani. So uh, yeah, if, if I know further in advance, I can probably hopefully do a bit better, save a little bit of money there, which will of course keep the slot price lower for everybody else. Um, I wanna thank Wes again, uh, for jumping in on that last slot. That was huge. Um, I think I should come close to breaking even on the break. I don't do these to make money. Um, I do them because I like to open cards, but I can't afford to buy boxes. Um, so this is this is my way to get to do that. Um, and then I, you know, I end up with the red. So thanks again to everyone, and I will be talking to you guys again soon. That's it for now. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.